Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome first fruits of the wine. Welcome to a new video of Triple Gris. And our topic today is your voluntarily death will elevate you. You will fly across the nations. Brothers and sisters, first fruits of the wine. The Lord is always telling me that we all before we can start our ministries, must die to the old. We must come out of the world, and out of Babylon, out of our old ways, so that we can be filled with the new wine. And then the Lord said, when we come out of the muddy place, out of the darkness, then He will elevate us. He will elevate us to a new level, a new level of relationship with him and with the Father. And when we are on the new level, then the Lord has shown me that we will speak very openly and clearly about the Hapazzo. On that new level. And on that new level we will reach the rapture. Not on the old level. Not on the, in the old ways. Not in the world. Not in Babylon, not in sin, not in darkness, not in the muddy place. But we are called forth to be elevated right now onto a new level, onto a new relationship with the Lord. And when we have reached that one, when the elevator's doors are opening and we will come out, then we will not only meet the Lord but we will also be surrounded with angels. And we will walk on to a new level, a higher level, a new intimate level. And then the Lord has shown me that there the training is over. And in this level, not only the training is over, but on this level, we, our learning about the ministries, our preparation for the ministries is over. And on this level, we will then go into the vehicles that we call our end-time ministries. And these will be very fast vehicles, very strong vehicles. And we will take our end-time ministries. And we will start and we will run before the destruction. Now we know for many other end-time prophets, we know that the destruction is just before us. That also means that the elevation has to take place now. Now, at this time, the elevation has to take place. And I'm telling you about the escape of the innocent, about the escape of the children, that the children will be taken. What will be the first hapazo in some kind, but it is an escape, not a true rapture. We also know that our rapture, the rapture of the church or of the new people on the new level, filled with a new wine, will be at the sixth seal. But we are now in the first seal. The right rider, who, what is not the Antichrist, what the people say. The right rider is Jesus Christ. Have you seen that video, Embrace Yourself? from the pastor, what was his name, Dane. And he explained so clearly that the white figure is coming. The white figure has come in the month of June. And he, this figure is telling you now that you are going now on to the part two. Ah, what is part two? Part two is also a new level, a new elevation. Something bigger and stronger than before. The seals are broken and we will be elevated to a new level where we will serve our God in the holy places, where we will serve our God even stronger than we have ever done before. On a new level, a new intimate relationship, walking with Him daily on holy ground. Everything what Triple Grace is teaching you all the time, our time has come. But that also no, shows you that when our ministries are starting now, 
that the destruction will run behind us. The Red Rider, the Black Rider, the Pale Rider, they're all coming. And the time is short, and it will be a short but profound harvest that we will bring in. We will always run with our ministries before the destruction. The destruction will not catch up with us. And we will be protected and guided by the Lord. Because we will walk in His image, in the image of Jesus Christ. As true sons of the Father, speaking forth to the world the gospel of the kingdom, speaking forth to the world what the Father has given us into our mouths. And He has cleaned us so that we speak the right words. That we are not talking about the world, about Babylon, or even about the lukewarm churches, but that we talk about the kingdom of heaven. That we talk about being two sons and daughters of the Most High. That we invite the people to the kingdom of heaven and to paradise, because we know that we will be ruptured into paradise at the sixth seal. Let us bring in the souls. Let us gather the souls. Let us win souls. Let us bring the harvest of the ages and the sheep into the fold of the Lord. We will be elevated so that we can fly across the nations in a short but profound harvest. Brothers and sisters, first fruits of the wine, you are part of this. Your ministries, what was always your dream, will come up right now and it will start in a great manner and you will be successful in whatever you will do in that ministry for the Lord you will not speak for yourself you will speak for our Father in heaven you will say I was sent to you in the name of the Father the Father has sent me I have not come on my own but the Father has sent me the Father has sent me to wipe away your tears and to explain to you what happened and what will come. And He, the Father, is inviting you to come into His kingdom. That is what we will pronounce to the world. This is what we will bring forth into the world to bring in the harvest. And at the same time, we will show forth the examples of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the principles of heaven of love, mercy and compassion for all to see, so that everybody will understand that we, me and you, that we are two sons and daughters of the kingdom of heaven and that we were sent for such a time as this to bring in the harvest. You have died to the world. You have sacrificed your old life. You have sacrificed sins. You have sacrificed everything what the world is looking for. Entertainment, sports, whatever. Everything that will take you away from the past to the kingdom of heaven. And you have focused 100% on the Father in heaven and on his principles. And therefore, the Lord is right now elevating you to that new level. And He will give you the power and the blessings and the glory to fly across the nations and to spread the gospel of the kingdom and to bring in a harvest as never before. Great revival will come from your words. Great revival will come from your works, from your actions in your neighborhoods. Let me remind you that you are called forth to fulfill the two commandments that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given you. To love your God above all else and that you will do in your holy places to serve the Father every day as a royal priest. And also to love your neighbor as yourself and that you will do with a daily sacrifice of love within your neighborhoods where you will go out as a unit every day and to help the needy, seek the lost, and speak to the suffering one. Lift them up and invite them to the kingdom of heaven and to paradise. 
our elevation is here, brothers and sisters. A new level of sonship and daughtership will be with you. You will walk on a new intimate level with God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. You will be filled with the holy fire and you will not get burned. Watch that daily prophetic word for today called Firebirds. Yes, you will be set on fire. You will be set on fire so that you can show forth that great light in such a dark world. And your light will be seen by many people and many people will be drawn to that light. And then you will bring them into the kingdom of heaven and to paradise. Through your work, yes, through your work as a minister, through your ministries, the multitude clothed and white will be ready to stand at the base of Mount Zion and there they will be raptured into paradise. Everything what is written will be fulfilled and you will be part of it. So let us go together now into the elevator of the Lord and let us be elevated to the next level. Say goodbye to the world, goodbye to Babylon and goodbye to the lukewarm churches and enter the elevator with me and Triple Grace together now. The time of elevation is here. And your time of flying across the nation is here. And your time with your, to run with your ministry before the destruction is here. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Please support the ministry of Triple Grace so that we can continue to bring you the words of the Lord, to encourage you, to gather you together with the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, and to help you to be elevated on that new level so that we can all start all over the world, on all continents, and in all nations, that we can bring in the harvest, as we have promised. Not only our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in many prayers, but also the Father, as His true sons and daughters. So, brothers and sisters, first fruit of the wine, please support Triple Grace. Help us that we can spread the word to more people. Lift us up in any way you can. Help us even with a kind donation so that we can continue to bring forth these videos. Assist us in all the ways you can. Pray for us. Put triple grace before the courts of heaven so that we can receive the blessings, the glories and the words of the Lord every day. Thank you for all your help, your assistance, your donation, your support. I love you all so dearly and I want to be with all of you in that elevator, to be elevated and I want to see all your ministries starting and flying across the nations. Because you have made yourself ready. You have voluntarily died to the old ways and now this time has come that you will be filled with a new wine. The nations are groaning, they are waiting for you true sons and daughters of the Most High, so that you go forward and be that light, that ensign and banner that will stand against the evil flood. Brothers and sisters, first fruits of the wine, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Maranatha.